Hey, welcome to the Bioflow. My name is Kyle and today's class is an all levels challenging vinyasa flow. So this power flow is sequenced to build strength and flexibility across the full body and I've sprinkled in a bit of core work along the way. I'm gonna encourage you to stick with your breath, fully commit to this time, put everything else aside and let's have some fun. Today we're gonna to begin in a tabletop position. So you can make your way there slowly, stacking your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. You can square yourself off and we're gonna begin with a free movement warm up. So you can do any movements you like, staying in your tabletop position. You can incorporate some cat cows, barrel rolls, shifting the weight forwards and backwards. Really anything is welcome. See if you can embody your sense of attention and allow yourself to move naturally with your breath. You may want to focus on warming up your wrists and your toes. I like to send my fingers backwards and tuck my toes and shift the weight forwards and backwards. See if you can keep your eyes closed, making sure to balance out your movements from left to right and front to back. Take three more slow breaths here with your eyes closed, still feeling into the movements. Just taking this time really to warm up into those sticky areas. And when you're ready, you can make your way into a neutral tabletop. And the inhale for cow, lower the belly, look forward, draw your shoulders back. Exhale, cat, round into the back, press into the ground and suck your belly up in towards your spine. Inhale, cow, lower the belly, look forward, and at the same time, dip the chest down to the ground, bend into the elbows, tuck them in, and lower as much as you can. Exhale, cat, straighten the arms out, curl into the back, and press into the ground. I'm going to roll through a few cat-cow push-ups. Inhale, cow, lower the belly, chin up. Now lower the chest down, tuck your elbows in. Exhale, cat, straighten the arms, keep the elbows in, round to the back, and breathe. Last time. Inhale, cow, lower the belly, look up, bend into the elbows, drop the chest down. Exhale, cat, straighten the arms, round and curl into the back. And release, make your way into a plank pose. And I'll mention that you are welcome to have your knees up or down throughout your planks and your vinyasas, or you can skip them out entirely. But for a second, we're gonna workshop a power vinyasa. So starting off in plank, nice deep breath in, as you exhale, we're gonna lower halfway chaturanga elbows in. Inhale, bend into the knees, send the hips back to the mat, straighten your arms, look forward, almost like a squat frog position. Exhale, ripple forward through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, roll over the toes, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, shift the weight back. Nice, so we're gonna do this one more time, nice and slowly, just so you are well adjusted to this new power vinyasa. Make your way into plank, ripple forward. If you need to, you can lower your knees. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga, nice and slow. Inhale, send the hips to the back of the mat, straighten your arms into a squatted frog, look forward. Exhale, ripple forward through chaturanga, elbows bent. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, gently roll the shoulders back, squeeze your thighs. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and lower the heels down. Inhale into the belly, and with some sound, open mouth, sigh, and release. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, slowly walk towards the top of the mat, coming into a ragdoll position. Feet hip width distance, generous bend to the knees, interlace the fingers, place them behind your head, and allow your head and your shoulders to hang heavy off your hips as you sway from left to right. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Squeeze your elbows together. And with your next exhale, send your hands up and over the head. And you're more than welcome to pedal left to right, straightening one leg and then the other, almost window wiping your hands from left to right. Inhale, halfway lift. Straighten the spine, reset. Exhale, fold and let it go. 
Inhale, wide-legged chair, Utkatasana. Sit down into the heels, arms alongside your ears. Wrap your pinkies in and gently melt your shoulders down. You can challenge yourself here. Weight into the heels. See if you can get your thighs parallel to the ground. Nice opportunity to warm up your legs. Now take a moment to connect with the breath. Soften into your jaw and close your eyes. Witness any resistance, witness any shortening of the breath. See if you can keep it down into the belly, especially in the moments of tension. Stay for the inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, send your hips down towards the heels, so squatting all the way down to the ground. And as you exhale, you can release onto the floor. And we're going to take a moment to get into a quick core warm-up. We're going to make our way down onto our backs, starting off with a round of leg raises. You can have your legs straight or bent, see which feels good for you. And make your way there nice and slowly. Engage the core, straighten out the back of the neck. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to get to lower the legs down, going for 10 reps. So lowering it down, rising up for one. Two, three, four, five, halfway, keep going, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, ten, well done, shake that off, we're going to move over to the left hand side for some oblique straight leg crunches. So you can have your legs straight or bent. Use your left hand to support you. Resting on the left hand side of your hip. Nice deep breath in, straighten the legs out. Exhale, right elbow to right knee as you crunch in. We're going to go for 10, straighten them out. And one, two, three, four, Five, six, over halfway, keep going, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, well done, shake it off, we're going to move over to the last set on the right hand side, over onto the right hip, you can use your right hand to support, squeeze your thighs together, hand behind the head, left elbow to left knee, nice deep breath in, straighten out, exhale, left knee to A left elbow for one, two, three, four, five, six, last stretch, seven, eight, nine, last one. 10. Well done. Release. Draw your knees into your chest and begin to rock and roll front to back. Do a few rocks and rolls from front to back, warming up the spine and just releasing into the core. And when you're ready, we can make our way into a malasana or wide-legged yogi squat. And you can come onto the balls of the feet or lower down into the heels if that feels good. Now, Once you make your way there, find steadiness, stretch your arms out in front of you, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, we're going to begin to slowly rise up, really working some power into the legs and flexibility into the hips. Use the breath, rise all the way, reach the arms up alongside your ears, reach high to the sky, come high up into the tippy toes, stay for the inhale, stay for the exhale. And release. Samasitihi, bring your hands through to prayer. Close your eyes and take a moment to set an intention for your class. Now, this can be anything you like. It's always good to ground your practice in something. When you're ready, you can blink your eyes open and let that go. Inhale, high mountain arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold, bow down and release. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten your spine. Exhale, plank, step back. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway, elbows in. 
Inhale, bend into the knees, hips back, straighten your arms, look forward, frog squat. Exhale, ripple forward through chaturanga, low plank, elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog, straighten the arms, squeeze your thighs, look up. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale. Exhale, nice. Inhale, three-legged dog, raise your right leg. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot in between your hands, keep your back knee up. Inhale, gaze forward, open up your chest. Exhale, pyramid pose, straighten your right leg and square your hips off to the top of your mat. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the right knee to hold. Exhale, power lunge, lift the chest up, stretch your arms alongside your ears, hold and breathe. So you're on both feet, using your back and core to support yourself. Keep your arms as straight alongside your ears as possible. Stay for the inhale, soften your face. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, high crescent lunge, rise up, arms alongside your ears. Exhale, hold and breathe. Square yourself off, bend into the right knee, and you are high on the ball of the back foot. Inhale, exhale, low flying warrior. Launch off onto the right foot, bring your hands through to prayer. Keep your chest open. You're looking for a straight line, like a capital T shape. Hold and breathe. Bend your standing leg if you need to. Find a focal point for your eyes. It's where you find your balance. Keep your back leg active and strong. Inhale. Exhale, standing L or standing splits. Bring your hands down to the ground. Bend your right knee and send your left foot up into the sky. Keep it nice and straight. From here, we're going to do some standing split squat presses. So inhale, bend the right knee, tuck your left leg behind your right and curl into a little ball. Exhale, extend the left leg up towards the sky and bow down towards the right foot. Nice. Inhale, crouch and tuck. Exhale, expand and press one more time. Inhale, crouch and tuck. Exhale, standing splits. Well done. Release low flying warrior. Press back up to a balance on the right leg. Left leg up in the sky. Hands come through to prayer. Hold and breathe. Your right leg should be nice and strong. From here, you can stay still or we can do three low flying warrior squat presses. So inhale, bend into the right knee. Find the balance. Exhale, straighten up. You're going to feel a nice stretch in the hamstring. Two more times. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise up. Last time. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise up. And release. High crescent lunge. Left foot steps to the back of the mat. Arms come up. Square yourself off to the front of the mat. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. Arms level out. Readjust your foot position. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm and reach all the way back. Exhale, extended side angle. Right elbow to right knee. Arm comes alongside your ear. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back and prepare. Exhale, windmill your arms down to plank. Inhale, shift forward and prepare yourself for a power vinyasa. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga elbows in. Inhale, shift the hips to the back, bend into the knees, straighten your arms, look forward. Exhale, ripple forward through chaturanga elbows in. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, squeeze the thighs, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and lower your heels down. Well done. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, make your way through to a seat and lower down onto your back and turn onto your left hip for another round of core. We're going to work still on the obliques. So something slightly different, so you can look to the screen if you need a little bit of reference. We're going to have our legs straight and slightly separated. Left leg is resting on the floor and you are resting on your left side. Elbows behind the head. Nice. So inhale. As you exhale, left elbow comes to right knee crossing over onto the oblique. Nice. So now you get it. Let's go for 10. Inhale, open for 10. Exhale to close. Keep going. Nine. Eight. Nice. Keep going. Seven. And squeeze. Six. 
five, four, over halfway, three, two more, two, last one, make it nice and steady, open up, and exhale to close, nice, switching over, shake that off momentarily, moving over to the right hip. So I'm just going to turn around so you can get an idea of what I'm looking like here. So we're on the right hand side this time, having the right leg down on the ground. And if you'd like to, you can always level up by raising the right leg off the floor. But we're going to start with it on the ground, right side body on the ground, interlace the fingers behind the head, left leg up in the sky. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, right elbow to left knee, cross over and squeeze. Now you got a good idea. Let's go for 10. Inhale, open up. Exhale, close. 10. Keep going. Nine, eight, seven, nice, squeeze, six, five, halfway, four, three, two more, two, last one, nice and slow. One, and release. Well done. Lay on your backs. Last round on your backs. We're going to do some bicycle sit-ups. So left elbow to right knee, and then right elbow to left knee. We're going to go for 20, going one, two, keep going, three, four, five, six. Keep going. See if you can squeeze. Seven, eight, nice and steady. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, keep going, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, well done, squeeze your knees into your chest, rock and roll from front to back, just to release the spine and the core. And when you're ready, we're going to make our way into a forward fold at the top of our mats. So find steadiness in your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift to prepare. Exhale, plank, step back. We're going to move through a power vinyasa. A nice deep breath in, shift forward, wrap the elbows in. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, frog squat, send the hips back, straighten the arms, gaze forward, bend into the knees. Exhale, ripple forward through Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, roll the shoulders back, squeeze your thighs. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. We're going to move through on the other side. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg rises, even the weight between your hands. Exhale, low lunge, step your left foot in between your hands. Back knee is up. Inhale, gaze forward, open up the chest. Exhale, pyramid pose, straighten the left leg and bow towards the left foot, draw back on the left hip. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the left knee to prepare. Exhale, power lunge, keeping your legs where they are, raise your arms alongside your ears and open up your chest. Stay for the inhale, soften the face, straight line along the back. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, high crescent lunge, rise up, high on the ball of the back foot. Exhale, melt down and hold. Square the hips off, tuck the tailbone. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, launch off, low flying warrior. Balance on the left leg. Bring the hands to prayer. Right leg is straight, right hip is down towards the ground. You are level towards the floor. Stay for the inhale. Stay for the exhale. And release, standing splits or standing L. Hands come down to the ground, bend the left knee, right leg is up into the sky. You're going to do some standing split press, nice deep breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat, right knee comes behind the left, crouch into a little ball. Inhale, open up, right leg comes out to the sky, straighten the left leg and bow towards the left foot. Exhale, Shiva squat, crouch in. Two more times, inhale, standing splits, press through the left heel. Exhale, Shiva squat, last time. Inhale, standing splits, straighten out the left leg, right leg comes up to the sky. Exhale, Shiva squat, crouch in. Inhale, low flying warrior, rise back up onto the left leg, 
Nice capital T shape. Hands come through to prayer. You can stay here. We're going to do three low flying warrior dips into the left leg. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, bend into the left leg. Nice and steady. Inhale, rise up. Open up the chest. Bring the right hip down. Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale, rise up. Nice and slow. Exhale, down. Inhale to rise. Exhale, release. High crescent lunge. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Arms come up to the sky. Square your hips off. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. Readjust your feet. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm and reach back. Bend it to the left knee. Exhale, extend it side. Left knee to left elbow. Arm comes alongside your ear. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach back and prepare. Exhale, windmill your hands down through to plank. Inhale, shift forward and prepare for a power vinyasa. Exhale, lower halfway elbows in. Inhale, frog squat, send the hips back, bend into the knees, straighten the arms, gaze forward. Exhale, slowly ripple forward, moving through Chantaranga. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, roll the shoulders back, squeeze the thighs to protect your lower back. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and lower the heels down. Well done. Take a nice deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale to release and let that go. And from here we build. Inhale, three-legged dog, raise the right leg. Exhale, low lunge, right foot comes in between your hands. Keep your hands down, back knees up. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, straighten and Rest through the front heel. Inhale, low lunge, bend it to the right knee, hands remain down. Exhale, easy twist, raise your right arm up to the sky and open up your chest. Stay for the inhale. Now listen carefully, exhale, lower your left hip down to the ground and send your right hand to the back of the mat. Hold and breathe. So you're going to feel a good stretch in the outside of the hip, maybe slightly different, but Keep focused and you're on the outside of the left foot. From here, we're going to ground down to the right heel. Nice deep breath in, big transition. Exhale, half moon on the right foot. Press and open up, right arm down, left arm up. Left leg is active and in the air. Stay for the inhale. Stay for the exhale. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, standing splits or standing L. Hands come down to the ground. Left leg comes up to the sky. Bend your standing leg. Inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat. Left knee tucks behind the right. Curl into the little ball. Now staying in a little ball with your left knee in. Inhale, rise up to standing. One leg at Tadasana. Left knee comes up into the sky. Arms come alongside your ears. Exhale, figure four. Left foot stacks on top of the right. Bend into the right knee. Hands come through to pray. Stay and hold. Flex your left toes. See if you can keep your hips in line with one another. There's a tendency for the left to drop down. And sit down to the heel. Bend the right knee if you want to challenge yourself here. Hold and breathe. See if you can soften into your breath. Drop back into your body. Notice if your breath is shortened. And see if you can deepen it. Nice, deep yogic Belly breaths. And release. Inhale, one leg at Tadasana. Left knee draws up, arms reach up into the sky. Exhale, power lunge. Left foot steps all the way to the back of the mat. Bend it to the right knee. Arms remain alongside your ears. Hold and breathe. From here, inhale, reverse triangle to the back of the mat. Straighten the front leg. Back leg is straight and reach the right arm up and back. Exhale, Trikonasana, or full triangle. Keep your front leg straight. Reach as far forward as you can. And when you can't reach anymore, lower the arms down to 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock. Hold and breathe. Activate your front kneecap so the right knee is active to save that front leg. Now open yourself up, stacking your left hip on top of the right. And see if you can lower the right side body forward and then down. Release, bend the right knee, inhale, reverse warrior, reach all the way back. Exhale, windmill the hands down to plank. 
Inhale, shift forward and prepare yourself. Exhale, lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, frog squat to the back. Bend it to the knees. Straighten the arms, gaze forward. Exhale, ripple forward through low plank, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms. Roll the shoulders back, look up. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and lower the heels down. One more side. Inhale, three-legged dog, raise the left leg. Exhale, low lunge, left foot comes in between your hands. Keep your hands down. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, pyramid pose. Straighten the left leg and fold towards the front foot. Inhale, low lunge, come forward, hands remain down. Exhale, easy twist. Left arm up, right arm down, open up through the chest. Hold and breathe. From here, lower the right hip down to the floor, roll into the outside of the right foot and send the left hand back to the mat. I'm going to ground to the left heel. Nice deep breath in, big transition. Exhale, half moon on the left foot. So open up, right stacks on top of the left, left arm down, right arm up. Keep your back foot nice and active. Find the balance. Stay for the inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, standing splits, hands come down, right heel comes up towards the sky, ground down through the left heel. Relax the back of the neck. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat, right knee tucks behind the left, curl into the little ball. With your right knee into your chest, keep it there, so you use your hip flexor to keep that knee in. And inhale, rise up, one-legged standing tadasana, right knee draws up into the sky, arms come alongside your ears. Exhale, figure four to release, right foot stacks on top of the left, bend into the left knee, hands come through to prayer. Find a position for your eyes to focus on, flex your right toes, see if you can keep your hips in line with one another, so right hip may need to come up, ground down through the heel and find steadiness in your breath. And release. One legged sadasana, right knee draws in, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, power lunge, right foot steps all the way back into the mat. Keep your arms alongside your ears, chest up. Hold and breathe. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, reverse triangle to the back of the mat. Straighten the left leg, keep the right leg straight, left arm reaches up and over the head. Exhale, full triangle, trikonasana with your front leg nice and straight, reach to the front of the room. And then lower the arms down, 6 and 12. Left kneecap is active. Left side body is moving forward and down. And at the same time, open the right hip up towards the side of the mat. So you're stacking your hips. Almost imagine sliding in between two panes of glass. Release. Bend the left knee. Inhale. Reverse warrior. Reach to the back of the mat. Exhale, windmill your hands down to the ground to plank. Inhale, shift forward for the last power vinyasa. Exhale, lower halfway, elbows tucked in. Inhale, frog squat to the back, hips back, bend the knees, straighten the arms, look forward. Exhale, ripple forward through low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog for the last time. Squeeze your thighs, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and lower the heels down. Well done. Inhale, bend the knees and look forward. Exhale, make your way through to a seat. Extend the legs out and pat them down. Well done. I'm going to move into Pachimottanasana. Start off with a bend to the knees. Get onto the front of your sitting bones. See if you can keep your chest nice and straight. Bend to the knees. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, shift them forward and then lower them down. So keeping that belly to thigh connection, you can stay here, or you can begin to slowly kick your heels out to feel a decent stretch, or walk your sitting bones back. I like to hold onto my thighs or my feet just to keep that belly to thigh connection, and then open up this, the chest and then shift the hips back. Hold and breathe. Inhale, release to roll up. 
Exhale slowly low down into the back, drawing your right knee into your chest for remove on the right hand side. Left leg is active and straight on the floor. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist. Lower the right knee over to the left hand side, keeping your right shoulder on the floor. Close the eyes and feel a nice stretch across the spine. And release, right knee draws up into the chest. Exhale, exchange, left leg comes in, right leg comes out long, flex both toes. Exhale, supine twist over to the right side, left leg crosses over. Keep your left shoulder on the floor as you send your gaze up and over to the left hand side. And release, draw both knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins with a nice deep inhale, raise your forehead up towards your knees. Take a moment to reconnect with your body and your intention. With a long exhale, release into Shavasana. Well done. Take up as much space as you like, having your toes fall out, palms facing up. Nice deep breath in. Lift the belly up. Exhale, release and surrender to your mat. Well done. With your eyes closed, see if you can lay as still as you can and just feel into the sensations of your body. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. And if you find your thoughts wandering off, don't be too hard on yourself. Just acknowledge that the thought is there and just return the attention into the sensations as you use your exhale to release and relax into your Shavasana. You're welcome to lay here as long as you like. I'm going to encourage you to move slowly when you do get up. 
And thank you once again for putting such beautiful effort into your self-practice and all the support into this channel. It's much appreciated. If you have any comments or questions, I'll be down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on your mat. Namaste.